Organizing your room or desk takes effort that lazy people like us just aren't ready to put in. But if you're feeling overwhelmed by the clutter around you, we have some quick and easy tips that'll help you get organized, or at least look like you are. Instead of trying to organize your entire house in one go, start where you are. We spend a lot of time at our desks, so most of our organizing tips will focus on this space. You can easily apply this method elsewhere too, like your bedside, bookshelf, or kitchen. Don't feel pressured to clean the entire area all at once. You can organize a section of your desk one day and get to another section on a different day. Whenever you decide to tidy up, consider doing it in short bursts. You don't have to reserve an entire afternoon to organize. Just set a timer for 10 minutes and do as much as you can until it beeps. You can even multitask while waiting. For example, challenge yourself to wipe down the counter in the two minutes it takes to microwave your food. If you leave things lying around, you'll quickly end up with a cluttered workspace. Putting them all into drawers, boxes, or containers gives the appearance of neatness. We recommend storing small items that you don't use frequently, such as trinkets or stationary accessories. Set aside belongings you use daily. We'll show you what to do with them in the next tip. While your stuff might not really be organized if you toss all of it into random drawers, at least for now things will look nicer. You can deal with the real organization later. Or not. Cover containers that don't have lids with a cute blanket or a scarf. Slap a label onto it if you're worried you'll forget what's inside. Just label everything. I promise you, it will help. If tossing everything in without a second thought sounds too chaotic for you, you can still work out a basic organization system. Place larger or heavier items at the bottom of your container, then put medium-sized items on top. For smaller items, stick them in smaller boxes or shelf containers so they don't disappear amidst larger belongings. Don't have containers on hand? No worries, you can repurpose boxes you already have. If you have a cereal box, cut the top and part of the corner off and voila, you have a filing container for your shelf. You can even decorate the outside with wrapping paper or washi tape to match your aesthetic. Nice. Once you're done storing items you don't use often, figure out where to place your daily use essentials. They're much easier to locate when they're in plain sight and kept in a designated place. For example, keep your most used office supplies in a container on your desk, or use a small tray to store your house keys. This way, you won't be digging around every time you need scissors, or scrambling to locate your keys before going to work. You can also designate different colored boxes for certain belongings. If you know you need to clean a certain area periodically, for example your desk because you have to snack while you work, keep cleaning supplies nearby. This will come in handy in case you spill a drink, drop crumbs, smear ink, or simply want to wipe down the surface. Before you go to bed, clean your desk and floor of clutter. If you have random receipts on your desk or clothes on your floor, pick them up and put them away. A clear walking space and desk look much neater than one that's covered in random things. As you organize your belongings, remember not to force yourself to make things look perfect. If something looks organized to you, then it's probably good enough. Maybe only 25% of your desk surface is usable, but if that works for you, then that's okay. What other tips would you recommend for lazy people? Share with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching.